Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is actually an update video. Got a couple new things going on with the house. Um, I had a couple things going on with the kids this week that I wanted to share with y'all. I thought would be super fun. Um, just a couple little updates, little things we had going on. I just thought it would be nice to share with y'all. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely does help my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right. So like I said, it's just a couple little different updates. I'll pop in here and there just to kind of keep you guys updated, let you know what's going on. But it's a couple different surprises that I have for y'all. I'm so excited about. Oh my goodness. And then, like I said, there was a couple little things I had going on with the kids. One in which I'm so, so stinking proud of my daughter. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for y'all to see that part. That'll be a little later in the video, but just stick around, check it all out. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's jump in. So in this particular week, they came out, dug all our lines for our plumbing. They uh, put the pipes in, covered everything back up, got all that ready. So the plumbing is done. All right, y'all. So the plumbing is done. Got everything capped off right now. But... I'm keeping it low because I don't, I've got a surprise for y'all, but yeah, so the plumbing's done and they're coming today is Wednesday. Um, what's today's date? <laughs> you don't know either. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what today's date is, but whatever. Today's Wednesday and they're coming next week on Wednesday to pour the concrete and then it is on so awesome but this is my surprise this was my surprise to begin with like i was surprised with this so i cannot wait to show y'all Ta-da! oh my gosh it is my craft room my own dad blame building put all my junk out here Y'all, this this little dude survived the tornado. The windows are busted out. Um, there's a little place in the back that's got to be replaced, and then the roof. There's, it'll we'll just have to fix it. But the bones of this dude is its own. Yes, this is so awesome. Check this out. Look how big this is. Don't get stung. There's a bunch of junk in here right now. We've got to clean all this out, but. Okay, babe. There's a wasp nest right above your head. Oh, he said there's a wasp nest right above my head. Is there one right here? Do you see any right here? I don't know. I don't see any right there. Where's the wasp nest? Yeah, so we just got to clean it out and then fix her up. There's the place in the back that was damaged. Um, but that's just a couple pieces of board. You know what I mean? Like, this is awesome. Especially for the price that we got it for. Yeah, it, it this is, I am so excited. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Okay, so this was something else that I wanted to just share with y'all. I had a chance to get some footage of Jordan and um, one of the workers from the fish dock, which is a good friend of Jordan's actually. We call him Rambo. You might have seen him in one of my previous videos because Jordan and Rambo actually did a garden together. But in, anyways, they run boxes together and I wanted to just show y'all how this works. So they take these big wooden boxes they fill them with rent cheese, literally rent cheese, y'all. That's what they put in them. 
they put the lid on them and then they put them back down in the water. They drop them down into the water and then the fish literally swim into this thing. They become stuck in it and that's how they catch all the catfish. I just thought it was neat and something to share with y'all. Look at that sunset. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm scared to walk out here though. I haven't seen too many snakes today. Hang on, let's check it out first. It's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so I had to pop on here and ask you guys a serious question, okay? Please let me know in the comments what you think, because I'm just, oh my goodness. So I have been 100% addicted to the Johnny Depp trial that's going on right now. Let me know if you're like interested in it or if you think it's just total baloney, I don't know. Some people may be like, oh, whatever, I'm so sick of hearing about it. You know, my boyfriend, for instance, he's like, please turn that off. I'm so sick of hearing about it. I do not care. You know, whatever. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, Ugh. I'm all up in it, y'all. I cannot get enough of this dad blame trial. It is so crazy. I 100% think that Johnny Depp is being falsely accused that might not get some good comments. I may have some people coming after me on that one, but I've got to just say what I believe. And I a hundred percent believe that he is being, now, do I believe that he's an angel? Absolutely not. Um, I think he likes to party. I think he enjoys his substances and whatever, and that's his business, not mine. But do I think that he's been whooping on that old girl all this time? I do not. I think that she's full of baloney. Her stories are just so, I don't know. I just cannot get on the Amber Heard bandwagon. I just can't, y'all. I just can't. But anyways, let me know if you think that it is just so goofy and you don't care anything about it. Or let me know if you've been 100% invested in it like I have. Oh, I cannot get enough of it, y'all. Like, I watch it on YouTube and then I go back and I watch the um, lawyers react. Because <clears throat> I like to see what they think, you know. I wish I could see the jury's face. That's what I want to see because it's so weird, y'all. When Amber Heard's on the stand, she literally, like, every time the um, the um, attorney will ask her a question, she looks at the jury and answers the question. It's so strange. If I was in the jury, I would be like, chick, stop looking at me. Like, not making eye contact. You're weirding me out. I don't know. Anyways, like I said, just let me know in the comments. Is it something that you're interested in or do you just totally do not care about it? Let me know. And I also want to know, are you on, are you hashtag justice for Johnny or are you Amber Heard? Maybe you believe her. I personally don't, but that's just my personal opinion. I wasn't there, so I do not know. Anyways, just let me know in the comments. All right, let's jump back into the video. Okay, so this is my daughter receiving the top 10 award for her freshman class. She actually got number four out of like 250 something kids, which is absolutely amazing. Number one, she has kept a 4.0 GPA grade average for this entire year. And y'all, look at the things this kid has been through. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Okay, Jordan is mowing, so I hope that y'all can hear me, but I wanted to give y'all an update on our tree. So I believe that when we actually planted this, we might have possibly put the tree into a little bit of shock. And I was told that that could happen. And I do believe that that's where the few little yellow leaves are coming from, which we've been trying to pick those off and keep them going. But look at the new growth on this thing. Y'all, the top of this tree is full of new little bitty leaves. So I really think that my tree is going to do great. Um, he's going to be just fine. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. It literally looks like the water is on fire. 
it just got through raining. It's been literally pouring down rain all afternoon. And look at how beautiful that is now. Ah. Uh. Oh, I just hope that the color is actually coming through just as pretty on camera as it is. Oh my goodness. Let me go down this way. Look at that water. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so next up, I wanted to share with y'all that they did come on that following Wednesday and pour the concrete for our house. This is so exciting because once the concrete was poured, we knew that like now it's just a matter of putting the walls up and actually finishing this house. Y'all, it was supposed to rain. It literally called for rain the entire week previous to this. Called for rain all day this day. <laughs> The rain clouds were there, but the good Lord kept it from raining. He knew that we had to have that concrete poured, and thank you, Jesus. It got poured, and they did a fantastic job. That's so crazy that it's already, like, you can already walk on it. I think about it, Boa. Show me your new house. Oh so Y'all, I literally could not believe how fast this concrete dried. Like, the next day, we were able to go out, walk across it. The dogs were up on it. I mean, you name it. It was perfectly fine. I'm so, so excited. This was such a major accomplishment. Just to get this concrete poured was just so exciting. Seriously, y'all. It looks good, don't it? The tree looks good, don't it? Look at all that new growth on it. Yeah, it looks good. You, you caught root, Hannah. Yeah. You know, I tell you what, all of this it's just so exciting being able to build our own house and make it just the way we want it and have the things that we want in there and you know have room for our dogs and just it's just such a blessing y'all such a blessing okay so i just rolled back into town from brownsville because i actually have been working at my father-in-law's um, um fish market all day Anyways, I just rolled back into town and I've got to show y'all this because I'm so, I'm looking over here instead of at y'all. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyways, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have to show you something. Check it out. They got started on the house today. They are starting to frame it out. Oh my gosh. It's so awesome. Got oh, a bunch of wood going on. Yeah, they starting it. This is so exciting. Ugh, I just cannot wait, y'all. I cannot wait. Anyways, I got so excited when I pulled up, so I had to I had to literally like immediately get on the phone and show y'all. All right, let's jump back into the video. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so I'm literally just getting back into town. Once again, this is Saturday. Um, I showed y'all what they had done on Friday. I'm just getting back into town. It actually started raining on them. 
so they had to stop but look oh oh my gosh they've literally got like walls up that's crazy oh my goodness that is so cool like the entire outside is up and then the the rooms on this side are already already blocked up or whatever ah oh my gosh it's happening it is so happening okay well i just had to show y'all okay Y'all, we have been so, so seriously blessed when it comes to this house. Not only is Jordan able to do a lot of the work himself, but also he has a crew of guys that this is what they do for a living that is literally his best friend and his best friend's dad that do this. So, I mean, we just are so blessed. Okay, so I wanted to pop in here for just a second and tell you guys about the daily devotionals that I've been doing. So my stepmom bought me a daily devotional book for Christmas. She gave it to me for Christmas. Um, the tornado actually happened on December the 10th. So I got the devotional book like what, 20 something days later, a month later, we'll say whatever, close enough. Anyways, it was just the perfect time in my life to start this devotional. And then obviously there were a couple other things that happened that I feel like the Lord was using this devotional in order to prepare me for what was to come, if that makes sense. But anyways, I just want to emphasize how special this devotional is. Right now, we've got about anywhere from like 1,000 to 2,000, we're 1,200, 1,500, something like that. Every day that tune in for this devotional, it's so super awesome. I mean, it is just, I just can't explain to y'all how this thing reaches out and grabs you. It gets your attention and it definitely gets you thinking. So I hope that you will join me for that. That's Monday through Friday. Um, I get them uploaded at different times throughout the day because it just depends on how long YouTube takes to... Okay, so when you upload a video to YouTube, it doesn't just automatically appear. YouTube actually checks your video, makes sure that it's suitable for your audience, you know, and whatever, and then they'll let you make it public, for instance. Anyways, so that's how that works. So sometimes it's a different time of day that it actually gets uploaded, but usually it's in the afternoons. Anyways, it is Monday through Friday. I hope that you will join me for that. And if you've missed any of the previous episodes and you would like to get caught up, there is a playlist in the description box. So go check that out. All right, let's jump back in. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want people to think I'm crazy because I'm still in the parking lot at the Dollar General store. As you can see there, we're still in, I'm still in the parking lot, but I have to show y'all something because, oh my gosh, I like literally started crying in the store. I got so like excited, upset, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but just hang on. I've got to show y'all what I found in the Dad Blame Dollar General store, guys. You're never going to believe this. You are never going to believe what I found. Oh my goodness. Look, y'all don't y'all don't judge me. My bags of junk I've got here. Hang on, let me find it. Oh, they had some cute stuff here. And I just happened to come in this store because my daughter, this uh, Dollar General store is like, um, uh, just like the town over, I guess you would say. Um, hang on. Okay, I got them all out of the bag. I've got to show you now. Look, I'm having a hot flash. I'm literally like got that excited. Also, it was uh, like stormy and w the weather wasn't good today anyway, so it was kind of chilly out, so I have a sweatsuit on. So I literally like go through full hot flash, so excited, crying in the store. I just looked like a total hot mess, but look at what I found. And if you've been around for a while, you'll know when you see this, you'll, you'll know, you'll just know, okay? Look! Oh my gosh, guys, I found the three little pigs. Dude, I found, this is the, you know, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Okay, if you've been around for a while, you already know, like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I found another set of these. Guys, I had a set of these. 
They were actually done in black and white check, though. They looked like they were McKenzie Child, actually, but they weren't. They came from the Dollar General store, and I got them, I would say, probably three, four years ago. No joke. And I literally just went in this store by chance. I never come this way. I, n I hardly ever go to this Dollar General because it's just, like, on the other side of... of um, town. Like it's a little ways away. It's about 30 minutes from my house. We'll just put it that way. But my daughter is spending the night very close to this Dollar General store. Um, and so, yeah, I just happened to be in here and look. Now, guys, if that's not the Lord, I don't know what is. I, I mean, I want to take this right now and just use this as the perfect example of how the Lord works. This is just a little God wink saying, hey, I love you. Here you go. You know, I mean, because the Lord knows how important those other three little ones were. Because if you don't know, my grandmother actually collected pigs. Like she had pig everything. She had all kinds of stuff with pigs on it. She collected them. So when I found the first set, that was the whole reason that I got them was because, well, number one, they look like they were Mackenzie Childs. And number two, because my grandmother had always collected pigs, so it just, you know, made me think of her. So, anyways, I just thought this was so neat. They are so stinking adorable. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I love them. Dollar General Store. And they were $4. $4 a piece. So stinking cute. All right. That's it. I just had to show you all, guys. I just had to show you. It was so, it's just so precious. All right, guys, that was all for today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said before, I just wanted to put together a little video for y'all for this week of just some updates that we had going on. I'm definitely going to keep y'all updated throughout the house proce process, you know, of building the house and whatnot. That's going to be so fun. But anyways, um, and then, like I said, I wanted to show y'all with my daughter and her, you know, getting top 10 and all that because that's just, I'm so, so proud of her, y'all. Oh. She's been through a lot. I mean, we've all been through a lot, but I'm saying for a 15-year-old girl to lose her home, lose all of her belongings, and then lose her oldest brother, but still keep a 4.0 grade average, she never missed a day of school. Through all of that, she never missed a day of school, y'all. She's something else. She's a very special little girl. Her resilience is just amazing. She has been stronger through this than I have. She's just a good kid. Anyways, all right. So, like I said, I just wanted to bring y'all some updates, show you a couple things we had going on with the house and then the kids and whatnot. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for being with me today and y'all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.